Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this magic heat stove. Let's get right in the video. First of all, this was nine or ten bucks at Stedman's store. And this is like a camping stove. Oh, it says ideal. Ideal for power failures, blizzards, floods, fires, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, camping, hunting, fishing, and boating. Wow, that's a lot of different situ um, uh, scenarios that you could use this stove in. Well, let's check this out. I think this is a pretty old stove because the box is beat up and it looked it was the only one in the store, so see if the fuel's still good after a couple years. First of all, you pull it out of the box and there's the whole stove right here, little cooktop, and then there's some instructions. And it's pretty straightforward. You just connect these two bars together because they have slots in them. So you put that over there and just stick it on top of the stove. So, we're going to test this out today. Move that out of the way. Unscrew it. And then, got some matches here. lights up pretty fast. I believe you see those two little indentations? Gotta click those in first and then you can set them on. Yep. Good. Then you set these on top and there's your stove. Don't know if you guys can see that pretty well or very well. So I'm gonna go turn off the lights. That's better. Now you can really see it. It's a pretty big flame. It doesn't look that big on camera, but it's around two and a half to three inch flame. And this burns for four to six hours. So I think this is a pretty cool little stove. Anyway, I'm going to blow this out. Or, no. Said you got to take these off first. Set them somewhere safe because they are very hot. Take the shield off. Then you get your cap. And you put it on top like that. Pretty good extinguishing for the cap. These, I think they're really old, so you can't find the, that particular one online anymore. So I want to test it out with the Culligan's camp stove, or camp heat. I wonder if that is, because it's around the same size. It's actually almost the exact same size. Hmm. The... Magic Heat's just a bit taller than the Colligans. Gonna try this out. This actually really cools down fast. It was hot when I took it off and it's cold now. Pretty good. I think it's just because it's sheet metal. It does fit. Perfectly, actually. Then, I'm not gonna put the bars on, they're pretty hot. I'm going to light this up and see if this one works just as good. I'm just back so you guys can see it. Yeah, this is a pretty torn up box. It's pretty old, so... It's lit. It's on fire. I 
it's not as big of a flame. Maybe it just needs to warm up first. I'm going to go turn the light off so you guys can see it a bit better. Holy. It's a lot bigger of a flame than the other one. It's like a four inch flame compared to my hand. Holy. Most definitely that would work just as good as the original camp heat cartridge. So yeah guys, I think that, that wraps up this whole video. I think this is a very good stove and you can get the Colgan heat or camp heat cartridges for it because these are very like limited I should say because this does look pretty old obviously not like very old but old enough that they probably don't make them anymore anyway there's tons of these on Amazon like different type ones newer ones sorry yeah I'm gonna say this is a positive review I'm gonna say this is a little effective stove because it is small, lightweight, and very compact. This is like a four by four box, four inches by four inches. And that whole stove fits in there with the cartridge, which I like. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this review. Make sure to like, share, comment, and turn on post notifications. This has been Survival Man Tom, I'm out.